Hello friends, I am Parwaze and this is our 37th video in uh, PyQt5, PyQt5 GUI programming. Uh, today I am going to show you how you can make an installer or how you can deploy or package your application. Uh, this is not just only for PyQt5 uh, if you are using another library or package. Uh, for example, if you are using WX Python or uh, uh, if you're using uh, mm, PySight, Tkinter, uh, you can do this, you can do like this. Uh, or even do, uh, you're using another language, uh, for example, you're making a software or application in C++ or in Java and you want to make an installer for your uh, application, this will work for all uh, languages. Okay? Uh, now, uh, this is the simple application. I have made a simple application and I want to make an installer for my this application. Uh, the first thing you need, uh, I will add uh, the link of uh, this website uh, to the video description. We are using Eno setup for uh, compiling or for making an installer for our application. Uh, you can download this, this from grsoftware.org. Uh, I will add the link and uh, after that you need uh, an application uh, like this. I'm using PyQt5 but uh, you're, you will use another uh, language for this. There is no problem. Okay. Uh, now the first thing in uh, Python or in PyQt5 I need, uh, I should convert my uh, Python file to executable file. I'm using PyInstaller for this. Uh, just I'm going to copy my this uh, Python file. Let me copy this, and after that I'm going to add this uh, where I where uh, there is my Python installer, and I paste this in here. Okay, let me uh, make it bigger uh, like this. Okay, now I'm going to uh, paste this in here. <coughs> after that, uh, open your uh, CMD terminal uh, like this. Also, I have an icon for this. Uh, you can see my image.ico. Uh, I want to add this icon to my application. Uh, simply, I write uh, pi installer and uh, I give underscore underscore one file underscore underscore when do it and underscore underscore icon for icon I give uh, my image, my image dot ico. Okay, and the last thing that I need, I should give my uh, uh, Python file name. That's, that is image dot py. Image dot py. After that, hit enter. Now it's going to uh, convert my Python file to executable file. Just wait. <coughs> it is okay now. It is successfully completed. Okay. Now let me check this. Uh, you can see that I have three files in here. These are uh, from my executable file, and I open my test. You can see that I have an executable file, and also I have an icon. If I open this, you can see that now this is my application. Okay. After that, what you you need? Uh, you need a folder. I have made uh, a folder. You can I have made in Drive C, but you can make it everywhere you want. Uh, my folder name is my application, and between this, uh, I have uh, another folder that is uh, executable files. And now you can simply just copy your these uh, three files and uh, paste these files in here like this. And also you should also I am going to copy my this icon from this section. Yeah, this is copy and paste in here my application in this section. Okay, uh, now after that uh, I'm going to uh, 
open my Inu setup. Inu setup compiler. This is the Inu setup compiler. After that, you can choose this uh, create create a new script file using the script wizard. Click on OK. Click next. Okay. And here you can give the, your application name. I give uh, image processing like this. In this section, section you can give the version. I give first version. And here I write a name, your company name. And in this section you can write your uh, website. Just click on next. Uh, and you don't need any change to this. Just click next. And in here, uh, browse and add your executable. Okay. Uh, let me find my folder that I have made. Application. What was the name? My application. Yeah, this is my application. Open this and in this, oh, add your image.exe. Click on OK. After that, add folder. Click on add folder. And uh, from my computer, like local disk C, open my application and open your disk complete folder. Where is it? Yeah. Add this exe file folder and click on the OK. Click yes. OK. After that, mm, select this, edit, and then here write uh, your uh, folder name that is exe files, where your executable file is located, exe files, and click on OK. Uh, now click on next. And here um, you can choose, for example, uh, create a shortcut to the main executable or uh, allow user to change the start menu folder. You can change this uh, by your choice, but uh, I don't want to change this. I want to make it default. After that, click on Next. Uh, you can provide your license for this application. And I'm going to Next for right now. And here you can choose uh, your language. I'm choosing English language. There are several languages you can choose, and click on the next. And here you choose. Uh, you want to select your uh, the folder that you want your uh, your installer should be. Okay. Uh, I'm choosing my application folder. Uh, my application like this. Okay, and click OK. And in here you can uh, name this. I just give it setup. Uh, in this section you can add an uh, icon file. Uh, just I want to add this. Click on OK. And you can also set the password. I don't want any password. Click to the next and next. Finish. Yes. Uh, yes. And also, you should you sh you should uh, select your script. I call it uh, my app script. Click on save. Now it is uh, compiling our application to an installer. Just wait for a minute. Okay, now uh, completed. After this, I'm going to open <coughs> my application. You can see that now I have a setup.exe. Uh, if I click on the click on this, you can see now I have uh, running. Uh, you can now install. I have an installer. Uh, you can choose where you want to install your application. Click on next. Also, you can create a desktop shortcut. Click on next and install. Now my application is installing. Finish. Okay. Now if I yeah, you can see. And also, if I open my start menu, you can see I have an application at name of image processing. If I click on this, this is my application. And also, you can select from here. You can see I have an image processing application in here. Okay. Uh, one thing I should mention, uh, uh, you can use this uh, for every language. Uh, you can use this for every Python package. Uh, if you're using WX Python, you're using Tkinter, you're using PySite, there is no problem. Uh, just uh, mm, just uh, continue like this uh, and it will make for you installer. 
Uh, if you have any question, please let me know. And for the further videos, please subscribe to my channel. And also, if you like this video, please share the video.